I'm Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. So here we are at a Dwemer Convector, which we're passing by two of these things on the way to our next military uh, conquest for the Empire. And uh, in order to advance this quest, I need to put... And this is the quest uh, for Arniel. He asked us to... Uh, to heat this warped soul gem and two of these things. Okay, so there is one of them. And now I need to find another convector somewhere. Fortunately, there is another convector that's just a ways west. So I will get out my Conjure Dram uh, Dramor Lord in my right hand. And I think this is actually where we want to be. So, we will head west to the um, other convector. I can't remember if we need to do two convectors or three convectors. Oh, hello. Oh dear, I brought you a friend. Yep, so it sounds like my Dramora Lord is having fun with his new friend, his new Ursine friend. That looks over there like a Nurn root, but I do not really care, so I'm going to leave it alone. Oh, come on. Well, okay, I didn't actually anticipate needing to come over here, but it seems like I was unable to climb up elsewhere, so I will keep on moving in this direction. Now my destination is over there, and there is a marker nearby, so I will take it this way. Okay, so this looks like another Dwemer site of some kind. Deep Folk Crossing. Okay. Well, hopefully I will be able to find the convector up here. Looks like it. Good. So I will put the warped soul gem down in here. It's a pity that's way down at the bottom, but Okay, it is now in there. Oh, it is. Let's get indoors. Okay, Serana is there. And Arniel's convection. Let's heat this thing up. But you don't want to get in the way of my thing. Okay. And. Sweet. Okay, so we do need a third convector. Oh. I was worried for a sec. Actually, it's kind of cute. To, now that it's not trying to kill me. Of course, this is an undead version. It's under Serrano's control, which is probably for the best. Okay, so now I need to head a good ways south and a little bit west in order to reach the Imperial camp. Um, yeah, so we will go back over Deep Folk, Folk Crossing. Looks like there's another one down there. But I definitely don't need to visit this one. Oh, oh, okay. It scared me for a second there. Yep, so we are just gonna run west. Uh, well, that's east. I don't want east. No, I, I want to run south. That's what I want to do. Which unfortunately means running up the mountain. Cute little fox there. It's always hard to tell in Skyrim whether something is easy to scale, hard to scale, or impossible to scale. Uh, to scale. Uh, this one looks like it's impossible to scale. Let's just run around it. I've done enough mountain hopping in this uh, run so far. And now we can see where we want to go up on our compass. 
I think it's on the other side of this way we're in. Bathar dams? Hmm. Almost well, makes you wonder if Dwemer civilization fell because it took so many tries to accurately pronounce things that they got lost all the time and their merchants failed to manage to feed their people or something like that. I guess. Oh, and somebody doesn't, seems like they don't appreciate me being here. Anyhow. This looks like where we probably want to be. Oh, and there's a bear in the camp. Oops, that's not what I wanted to, to, to do. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it was dead by the time I made it here. Did it kill anyone? You end up here? Well, I guess it didn't kill anyone. Oh, is there really a dragon nearby? Really? Okay, so hey Rekka. Your objective is Fort Sungarn. Meet the soldiers preparing for the attack. Well, soldier, are you up to the I knew I could count on you, soldier. Rocks okay. In the valley, crevices, hiding places. This is the kind of place where hermits and fanatics dwell. Well, that's kinda of described all of Skyrim really. So where is Fort Sungard? Oh it is nowhere near here. We're over here. It is way over there. Oh, oh. So let's. So this is the monument where we helped the mutually. Uh, well, yeah, the two dead people uh, get their groove on. I suppose calling them mutu mutually necrophilic is a little bit extreme. Well, I mean it's it's accurate, kind of. Uh, yeah, that gets into weird definitional ground. It's hard to really call it accurate or inaccurate. So... Okay, so how far are we from this? We want to head west and a little bit south. Which is probably over there. Yeah, so that healing restores stamina thing, as I said, not a super important perk. It doesn't help you that much in battle, although it's kind of useful in battle. But it is very nice for when you uh, when you're running around a lot. Okay, so here's where the fun part comes. Let's put our Dramora Lord in our right hand. Um, let's do a bound. Or I'm sorry, uh, Dramora Lord in our left hand, bound bow in our right. Here we go. Yeah, I hate these barrier things. Looks Knock that shit down. Okay. Now we get into the fun part of actually wiping out the people. Well, the soldiers, I, sh I should say. For me. Oh 
Um, but now I think this is the point where it makes sense to get out a sword and shield, because... Nice. It's kind of impressive that that nobody really seems to mind or have trouble keeping track of the uh, of the dead soldiers that Serana raises. Like that seems like it'd be a pretty tough thing to keep track of in a battle because they're still wearing the the enemy armor. So yeah, we're definitely clearing out our foes that... Uh, and you just probably noticed there that some soldiers uh, materialize have uh, midair. That is because the game can't handle uh, actually doing uh, battles of the size uh, which it would like to, and so it... it it just staggers loading enemies on, onto a map until uh, until there's room. Okay. And we have these guys pretty much taken care of. There are not too many of these guys left. Looking good. Where are the enemies? Oh, I guess they're they're upstairs. But yeah, we are mopping up our foes, and now it is done. So, we're done here. Fort Sundard is now ours. Now one thing I, I would like to do is, so I, I adopted a, um, I adopted a young woman who was selling, where is that foe? Is there somebody? Huh. So the game shows a red dot somewhere of a nearby foe, but I can't seem to actually see them unless they are down here somehow. Yeah, that is... Oh, a little bit surprised that they could successfully build a castle on that. Anyhow, yeah, I sent her to my new home, and I know that she should be okay with the steward and all that stuff, but... Uh, I still have an enemy nearby. So, we're going to run a little bit east and see if we can tra uh, fast travel now. I just want to make sure that she's settling uh, in okay. It's a little bit weird just to think about like adopting someone, sending them to your house, and then never really seeing them again. So, plus I sent my new house Carl to the house, and I haven't uh, seen her here yet either. So what I, who I expect to see is her, uh, the adopted girl rather. The house carl, the steward, and the bard. And the steward is Unmund from the college. A 
they might make a decent uh, bookmark. Although I'd worry about the tail part breaking off. You worry about the tail part breaking off no matter where that kind of thing were used. Like if you stick that on the door. Well, in any case, here we are back home. And the chickens are okay. Hey, chickens. Cows okay. Horses okay. Everything's looking pretty good outside. Let's make sure everything's okay inside. I'm home. It's it's everything I could have hoped for. I I know it's not much, but I found a few pretty things. They're in the chest in my room. Cool. If you see anything you like, please take it. You've done so much for me. It's it's the least I can do. Oh, the, I I'm sure that that can be for you. So hopefully you can uh, tutor her. Make sure she gets a good education. Hi. Need something? Uh. What is it? Um. Well, I can give her some honey nut treats and some sweet rolls. Um. Just in case, you never know. The world can be cruel, and this I would. Is great. I'd like her to be uh, safe. So, how are you doing? What can I do for you? Of course, anything you like. Oh, I didn't know this song. Certainly, it's a fine tune. Good request. What is the tale of the tongues? Oh, nice. I honestly thought that there were only two things that bards could sing. But apparently having beat Aldwin unlocked a third song. Nice. So I think this is her room. Uh, I guess... Huh. Maybe these are the things that she brought. Well, she can keep them. Or maybe it wasn't defeating Altuin that unlocked that. I am not sure. But this is actually a nice song. It's. Uh, I apologize for talking over it so much, but I'm hoping that that'll stop the content recognition stuff from uh, from uh, taking it, or from I'm sorry, from uh, from flagging the video. But yeah, that's that's pretty nice. Definitely like that. I wonder if I wonder if there are more songs that are in the game that can be unlocked that aren't uh, that aren't available by default. I mean, I was thinking I've toyed around a little bit with the creation kit, and I don't really know how to do it. But I thought it might be neat to add a mod that would let me uh, add songs from. Uh, I don't know, from some really goofy musicians, maybe some They Might Be Giants, or um, some Tiny Tim, uh, from various uh, appropriate musicians, it would be kind of neat to have a bard that would play that stuff. Not really sure how to do that, but maybe the need is less if they have more than two songs.
Anyhow. What? Uh oh. Oh, there's a wolf. Or... Okay. Uh, well, well. Okay, good. The the wolves are taken care of by. Uh, what do you need? Taken care of by my house Carl and. Yeah. So is everyone okay? Are the chickens okay? Yes. Looks like they're okay. Cool. And the cow is going to head back in there. I don't know where you go during the day, but that is fine. Okay, so the other reason I was down here is that I thought it would be good to head down to the Ancestor Glade and, uh, and take care of that uh, Dragon Quest line quest. Oh, where are you going? Oh, you're just heading that way. And hey, Serana, what is the haps? Okay, so it is roughly south. I could theoretically fast travel and get there faster, maybe. But it might actually end up being slower. Because the game is not exactly being fast when it comes to loading or selling that. Unfortunately, my cat is... Or one of my cats is misbehaving. Oh. Oh, hello, Mr. Cave Bear. Huh, that almost seemed like a glitch. Anyhow, okay, so I'm heading south to check out okay, south and a little bit west. It should be slightly to the right. Ooh, and I am hearing the sound. Yeah. Hello, bandit. Staff of Sparks, which is not a very useful thing to have, but... Oh, well. Okay, so I'm just... Okay, now it's a little bit more west than south. Probably about this angle is right. I'm still hearing things that makes me think that maybe somebody is chasing me. Is this still not... Okay, so I, I want that thing that looks like a bunch of... Um, uh, what are those things called? Uh, in French, they're used for quote marks. And they look a lot like uh, those. Except, I mean, they're turned on their side, but otherwise, that looks pretty much right. Anyhow. I believe I want to be up where that thing is. So I guess this thing does cut back. It's really frustrating not being able to remember the name for those things. Ancestor Glade. Yes, that is how ancestors avoid smelling bad. So, we need to head down here, get a scraper, um, scrape a tree, I think, get some moths to fall in love with us, and then read the Elder Scrolls. Hmm. Not very impressive, is it? No, if not this really. Ends up being a wasted trip, your friend Dexian and I are going to have some words when we get back. Oh, where am I going? So it's not entirely clear what Dexian's future is now that he's a blind moth priest. 
Ooh, oh, that's pretty. Okay, and this looks like the scrapey thingy. Let's get that. Well, fortunately, it is right here. Hope the moths like that bark as much as Dexian's. Okay, so now I just need to find some moths. Look at them. They've definitely taken a liking to you. And unless I'm seeing things, you're starting to glimmer. Uh, I'd better be careful lest I turn into a vampire. Whoops. Although I can't actually see much in the waves. Maybe a little bit more light would, would actually be helpful. The risk of becoming more glimmery. Uh, there's another swarm. The idea of this should be that I, I want to be able to see these swarms. And so far it just seems like I'm blundering into them. Uh, this looks like another one. Four of seven, good. That looks like another one. Five of seven, sweet. This is going pretty well. Six of seven, I think, yeah. Now, where can I find one more swarm? Ah, right there. Good. Now I wanna head into the light, I think. And uh, and read the Elder Scroll. Okay. Oh, is this not the Column of Light? Where is? Oh, this is the Column of Light. Well, that's. This might be a sign of brain damage. Maybe I should stop? It doesn't seem like a good idea to keep reading when cracks are appearing in my vision. you there. You went as white as the snow. I could see it in your eyes. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know? Then it's almost out. Where is this dark volcano? Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Not much. As far as I know, though, it's never been held by a vampire. That would be a new one. Ariel is one of the... The way I... Supposedly, the bow draws its energy... In that part, I don't know. Once we have it, hopefully it'll be obvious. Okay, so that should be enough. Um, so we are heading out of here. Uh, if I can find a way out of here. Where is the way out of here? Hmm? Who's there? Oh. Yeah, looks like this is not the way out of uh, out of here. Oh, it's the Dawn Guard. You know, I think the the most appropriate way to handle this is first to summon a friend. Oh, can I summon my friend? Yes. Maybe? Oh, 
Okay, these guys are doing pretty decent damage, actually. So... So I'm gonna... Oh, well, that, that works too. I was going to heal, but I'll just take a level up. And I could definitely use a bit more strength. Let's see. Can't quite qualify for that. Can't qualify for the vampiric improvement. Uh, how about conjuration? Okay, well, that makes Heptanox better. So pretty soon I'll be able to summon... If I do this right, I should be able to handle multiple summons at once. And now I'm going to do something which I haven't done for a while. But if I'm going to fight the Dawn Guard, it is kind of appropriate. Let's be a vampire. If they want to fight a vampire, then be my guest. And I will first summon another friend. Not sure where Serana went. Okay, and now... Bar and bass. Don't you know that vampire blood doesn't make for very good paint? Okay, and have I learned earned any new perks? No, not really. Oh well. Still seems uh, thematically appropriate to kill these guys while uh, while acting as a vampire. Where are they? Oh, there, there's, there's the dude is. there and I guess it's that way to do it. Oh, I'll pay? I think you'll pay. Well, that didn't kill her. didn't exactly offer to negotiate, so how... Okay. Well, that is hopefully going to be enough. Now I just need to navigate my way out of here. And the exit is hopefully somewhere... Yeah, up here, but I'm not sure... I don't see the path. Do I need to jump up here? Because vampires are not the best jumpers. They're not terrible jumpers, but... Okay... Looking good... Okay, finally. Well, kind of. Yeah. Good. Okay, so...
we know where we would have to go to get Ariel's bow. Or we could keep on advancing the war quest line. I'd kind of like to wrap up the war quest line because the war quest line is a little bit time sensitive. Oh, wrong button. And uh, that means that if you just if you ignore it for too long, then things happen without you. And I would rather not need to worry about uh, that too much. So let's do this now. What next? So there is locate Ariel's bow, but we are gonna head back and talk with General General Tolius and tell him that we have regained the pale. is a doll. Huh, I didn't know that the game let you, uh, well, even if it doesn't actually have dolls, I suppose it could depict them. I could count how many uh, it's so bright out here. how many weeks of my life I've spent playing games where they have long loading scenes. In the ancient tongue, you are Dora Keen, Dragonborn. Ah, these are surprisingly educated guards. Disrespect the law. Well, some of them anyhow. It was important we reclaimed the Reach. Letting Alfred control the flow of silver was a mistake. One I'm glad we finally corrected. You've little time to glory in your accomplishments. We're gathering our final assault on Windhelm. Sweet. Report to our camp in Eastmarch. Yes, I did. We will oust Alfred from Windhelm. Taking the pale gives us another port in Dawnstar and puts us within striking distance. So in regaining East March, yeah. So we're actually Windhelm. preparing That's for a final move against uh, Ulfric. So fortunately, there isn't a whole lot left to do. I still imagine if I were to visit um, visit uh, uh, Ulfric's court, his uh, his buddy would probably still have that BS. The the Stormcloaks are finding victory across the land. Speech. He'd probably say that right up until the final battle. OK. 
Okay. So, we are gonna head over and take back East March. Actually, it looks like there's convectors in Mosulft. So maybe we'll swing by there and uh, take care of that chore really quickly before we uh, before we wrap up the war. If I remember right, uh, the convectors are just inside the dungeon here, so it shouldn't take too long to pop in and do this. So after that, I would just uh, need to swing by Arniel the next time I'm in the College of Winterhold to let him know that we've taken care of the uh, Warped Soul Gem. So, Mazolft is right up here. Oh, Skyrim, why do you need to have these gigantic loading times? Okay, so, yeah, you, we can see it's near because that, ouch, ouch, ouch. There we go. So, let's put the warp soul gem in and heat up this thing. Oh, come on. So much junk on me. And I suppose I really don't need to keep so many petty soul gems on me at this point. Okay, and now we just need to return that to Arneal at our next convenience, which works for me. So. Uh, Dramor Lord in the right, healing in the left, and we just have a quick jog out of here to take care of. So I have been reading a little bit about the uh, the previous game, uh, Oblivion, since it has actually gotten moderately better ratings uh, among geeky uh, geeky sort than uh, Skyrim. And I think the reasoning behind that is that it seems to be a much uh, much bigger game. It's a lot easier to tweak with regards to how you build uh, your character. The magic system is more complicated. There are a lot more spells in each uh, school of magic in Oblivion than in Skyrim. So it's a lot more fiddly. And for RPGs, they are the kind of game that is generally really appreciated by fiddly people. So if you don't uh, let people be fiddly, I can't it particularly if, uh, if you get them used to opportunities for fiddliness, and then take them away in sequels. It's it's understandable. I, I've been having trouble getting Oblivion uh, working the way that I want it to. So I, I haven't yet uh, experienced that, but I'm hoping to do it at some point. 
Okay, and this is the Imperial camp. Something to report. Your objective is the meet the soldiers preparing for the attack. Well, soldier, are you up? I knew I could count on you, soldier. Good. Port Amol or Amol? Wait, where is it? Oh, okay. Well, works for me. Okay, so I am looking for Fort Amel, which is southeast of here, and there should be some men there waiting for me. And I'm pretty sure that this is the appropriate quest marker straight up ahead. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Uh, switch. Tremor Lord to the right hand and uh, Dragon Bane. Oh, well. I guess I'll just keep the Dragon Bane bow ready. That looks like it might have been a dragon flying overhead. Okay. So anytime you play Skyrim, some of the quests will end up shifting around significantly not entirely dependent on level. There is a quest that you often have to do in the course of the war that you don't always have to do. Uh, really only four men and me to take this fort? That's kind of sad. But yes. firing Falmer arrows right now. Great. Oh, sorry. Did not mean to do that. Pro tip, guys. Don't run right in front of your buddy's uh, arrows. Okay, so I want to take the high ground, because I suspect, oh, well, that didn't take, this game I've been dead for a while. Okay, what is going on now? Wait, is there an arrow? There's archery coming from over here? Oh, okay. Sons of sky. 
Okay. So, Unrelenting Force, uh, Dramor Lord on the left, Sword on the right. Let's see if I can... Yes! Okay. And we're gonna get our shield up. And pay a visit to our foes. Okay, so we pretty much have this done. I, I don't think there are many storm cloaks left here. But I do re a little bit resent that the game places people in areas that you've cleared already. Okay, so this area is done. Uh, oh, I guess I will have... The area will need to be completely cleared of enemies before I can fast travel from it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, did not mean to do that. Okay, so I, I'm pretty sure that this area is clean now. Um, and where is there to go now? Well, can rehead or can head back to the Imperial camp and report success. We are wiping out the reactionary storm cloaks and preventing the South from rising again. So this is a kind of quirky feature. If you collect um, all seven or eight Dragon Priest masks, then you can trade them for a, uh, a nicer one. Well, a theoretically nicer one. The problem is that the only mask which I've ever really been tempted to wear was the, um, the Morokei mask, I think, which gives you plus 100% to Magicka regeneration. And the other masks, including that reward mask, just aren't that exciting. Particularly because I pretty much always get my Magicka regen. I pretty much always get my enchanting up to level 100. Good job. I knew I gave the mission to the right person. Mm -hmm. So what now? We're taking the city. The soldiers gathering for the attack. Move it. The city? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was worried that the game had glitched and I wasn't going to be able to uh Okay, Battle, Battle of Windhelm. This will be the final push in the war uh, quest line. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave that for the next, uh, next video because I'm just about at the one hour mark. Plus, I'm really tired and I have something to take care of. 
in the morning and I've been up way too late. So I'm Pat Gunn and this has been a Let's Play of Skyrim. I will see you in the next one where we will uh, retake the uh, we'll retake the city of uh, oh shoot come on brain well we will uh, put an end to the Stormcloak Rebellion until then take care